What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to factory reset your Nintendo Switch. This is actually really easy to do and it's very, very similar to the Nintendo Switch Lite and the OLED as well. To do this, like I showed in the video to factory reset a Switch Lite, you can do one of two things. You could either use the arrow keys to navigate, you can use the analog sticks to navigate, or you can use the touch screen to navigate. So what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to click on system settings and go into there. From here, again, you can either use the analog stick to navigate, the arrow keys, or just use the touch screen, which is easier for me. You're gonna click on system, then you're gonna go all the way to the bottom of this. You're going to click on formatting options and from this you're going to click on initialize the console now the one thing that's recommended is if you do have a micro sd remove it prior to initializing it because once you do that then basically everything that is saved on it that is either photos or screenshots or i believe videos as well will be unusable after you initialize it and the micro SD is still in there. So if you want to use your videos, photos and screenshots, please remove your micro SD prior to doing this step. If you don't really care uh, to delete all that stuff, then you can just go ahead and continue. From here, you can go and read everything on here is basically the warnings saying that's the data like I just mentioned is going to be unusable and the version it might be changed. So you might have to update it uh, once you do reset the console once you're okay with everything you're going to hit on next and basically this is the final warning saying that you're going to be factory resetting it so once you factory reset the nintendo switch it's as if you just opened up the box and you're setting it up for the first time that's what it's going to be like once you do hit this red button here once you do hit the button it could take anywhere from a couple seconds to up to 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you have saved on your Nintendo Switch and how much it's going to be deleting. So I'm not sure how long this one's going to take, but we're going to hit the button here and it should say in a second what to do. Now here on the screen for me, it does say seven minutes to complete. So I'm going to let this go and I will show you guys whenever it is complete. Now this switch is just about complete. So it says it is going to be turning off. Then you're gonna wait a couple seconds and once you confirm that the screen is 100% turned off, you're gonna head and hit the power button on the switch. The Nintendo logo will appear, followed by the Nintendo Switch logo, and then it should have the red screen as well for whenever you first set up the Nintendo Switch, just like that. And now you have factory reset your Nintendo Switch. Like I mentioned, this is the same method for the Switch Lite and the OLED as well. Very easy to do. It's just a matter of going in and doing that. And now you'd be able to set up your Nintendo Switch, put in the SD card and have all your save files that were on the save card. And you'll still be able to use the photos and videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very easy to do. This one here I did pick up to resell. So this is going to be part of my Flipping for Profit series. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you know how to factory reset your Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.